Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It's Monday time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Boy, today is one of those days where the clock just sneaks up on you. You ever have one of those days? Look, man, it's five minutes after seven. I'm like, wow, I gotta get this thing rolling. How you doing this morning? Welcome to another uh, Monday installment. Today's Monday, September the 10th. Hope you had a great weekend. You arrived, rest, recharged, rest, rested, rested, relaxed, and recharged, ready to start another week. Uh, hey, listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Joe has done and leave a comment there. That lets me know a couple of things. One, that you were there. Two, who you are. Number three, it tells Facebook you're interested in this video and we'll keep you updated as the conversation continues, even well after the show is over. And if you happen to be listening elsewhere or watching elsewhere, Say YouTube, tune in, something like that. Head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. I'll get you the right place on Facebook so you can join in as well. All right, so today, I titled today's show, Making It Monday. Because a lot of Mondays, when we get up and our feet hit the floor, maybe I should have called it Faking It Monday. A lot of Mondays, when we get up and our feet hit the floor, we just have to make it until... Whatever. Maybe it's the coffee kicks in. Maybe work gets started. Maybe it's Monday night football now that it's football season. But sometimes you just have to do what you got to do to get through. So I wanted to ask, uh, Art, is it Art on the new? Oh, yeah, actually, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, So I ask a question for you. Ever had one of those days, be it a Monday or another day of the week, where you get up and you're just like, Man, got to go make the donuts. You ever had one of those days? What do you do? I, I think the answer for most of us is, yeah, sure. And, and, and so there's two things, I guess, that come from that. One is how frequently do those occur? And then number two, today's the first Monday of the week. <laughs> um. How often do those occur? And then what do you do when those occur? Right. And I'm going to suggest to you that, um, well, I can't decide. I, and in, in, in all honesty, this is one reason why I was running late, running and starting the show this morning. Can't, can't decide which way to take this. I'm just going to take it left. That's why I'm going to go with it. So when you have one of those days, Here's the question I want you to ask yourself. Why did I start doing this in the first place? That's it. Short little question. Doesn't have to be more complicated than that. Don't overcomplicate it. Why did I start doing this in the first place? Now, you will find one of two things occurs when you do that. One is it reminds you of your end goal. And gives you a little juice and helps you get up and get things started and the day gets better. Or you realize you don't have an answer to that question. And it's, I don't know because I don't know. That is a great indication that you need to get off your duff and figure out that vision, that end goal, that destination that you're trying to achieve. Look, I had this conversation uh, two weekends ago. We get into this rut. We get into this, into this pre-programmed script of what life is supposed to look like. And and I'm I've got an idea, but I don't, we don't need to get into that today. Whoever wrote this script decided that that this is what you're supposed to do. So we just accept that and go off and do it without any regard to whether it's what we want to do, what we're gifted to do, what we're talented to do. None of those things. It's just, well, this is what I'm supposed to do, so I should go do it. And then we find ourselves weeks, months, years later, waking up in the morning and not really understanding why 
we have to go make the donuts. So, one of two outcomes today. One is you either know why, and you can use that to re-energize yourself and get things started again. Or number two, you've realized you're not clear on your why, and you need to work on that. And that, talking about, I, I think we're going to do that for the rest of the week this week. Talk about your why. How to use it, how to find it. If you don't find, if you don't have it, is it clear enough? I think we'll do that tomorrow. A lot of people will tell you, yeah, sure, I know why I'm doing what I'm doing. And they can't ask, they can't answer the second why. You've heard that story, right? Right? So uh, you have to ask why five times and they can't get past the second why. Think about, I want you to think about that as you go through the day today. Right? Why are, why are you doing what you do? And then you'll have an answer. We'll say, I don't know, to make money. Okay. Why do you want to make money? That's the second why. Most people can't get past the second why. So anyway, ask yourself those questions. Think through that. Try to get through five versions, five instances of why so that you can um, come back prepared when we get ready to talk about that tomorrow. Joe's got a really good point. He says that he prepares on Sunday before he goes to bed. Um, I, I've talked with a lot of people that do that. I have a hard time doing that. I personally, I prefer to get up early in the morning and do it, um, and, and prepare my day. But then I could also see if I'm having a hard time getting out of bed, how that would be difficult. So one of the things that you can do, uh, and I've done this some is just, even as you're just laying there in bed, don't think about what you have to do, right? That fires up the wrong part of your brain, Right. Thinking about what you have to do gets you back into that list maintenance mode that we don't want to be in. I want you to think about why you want to get up and get things done tomorrow. Right? Not, yeah, morning is workout time. I, I'm with you there. Um, not what to do. Don't lay in bed thinking about what you need to do, but think about why. If you catch yourself, this is all an exercise of mindfulness. If, and by the way, if you're not meditating, you should. This will help you practice this. But when you catch yourself, your mind wandering back off to the what you need to do, bring it right back center. It's fine for it to wander. Just bring it back center on why. Spend some time doing that. All right, so your question for the day that you're supposed to work on, answer the five whys about why you're doing what you do. Ask yourself why five times. Really dig down into finding that core motivation because and, and all this kind of comes back to motivation. I was reading a post on Reddit this morning about, you know, listening to motivational videos, but then when they're over and the motivation's gone, it's the grind. Well, no, you got to motivate yourself. You can't depend on somebody else to do it. That's what we're going to talk about this week. I hope you have found this helpful. If you have, please do me the honor of sharing this video with your network and do them the favor of helping them find the same information, the same goodness that you find here every weekday morning. All right? It's Monday. Have a magnificent Monday. I'll be back again tomorrow with another installment, seven minutes in the morning. Oh, yes. Almost forgot to mention that. Uh, actually, the flashing lights go all the way across the top of the room. They're not really flashing. They're just kind of fading through cycles. Uh, and then the, that's not artwork. Well, I guess it's, it, it's actually, I made that to cover up the TV, uh, the, the rack that screwed to the wall for the TV. We moved the TV outside. So there's not this ugly rack hanging on the wall and I just put it up there to get it out of the way. So there you go. That's the uh, that's the whole thing. I got into a purging mood this weekend and got rid of a bunch of crap out of the office. Um, so anyway, all right. Now that's really it. That's all. You guys have a great Monday. Talk to you tomorrow. Well, maybe if I can hit the right button. <laughs>